Hello and welcome back and in this video we will take a look at another example when which we sort the uh, given list uh, in decreasing order or descending order right so before that let's take what is descending order so this is typically the descending order where the entries are like decreasing in terms of its value right so depending upon the given problem will be decre decreasing it like from that point onwards and the extreme right will have the least value and the uh, first entry will be the maximum of the uh, uh, entries right maximum of the uh, given uh, numbers or the list uh, you know uh, or the elements in the list or something like that let's go to the problem let's uh, dive into example 2 yeah so we have five entries uh, this is an array of five elements and each represents the marks obtained by the student in an assignment, assessment uh, out of 100. And we'll be uh, doing a descending order sorting using bubble sort algorithm. Let's get started. So this is the uh, typical example that we have uh, already described, uh, but with only the change in the values. But in this case, we'll be doing a descending uh, order. So that's the concept. So this is the first pass. In the first pass, we'll be uh, doing n minus one comparison, which means five entries. So we'll be doing four iterations, and you can see that like uh, first uh, entry, 53 and 25 gets uh, marked. So we'll check uh, if this is greater than this, then uh, we don't do any swapping. This is a descending order. Remember, this is a descending order. If it is uh, ascending order, we will be swapping at this because the logic is that. For in a descending order, the first one will be higher than the next one, right? So in an ascending order, the first one will be less, should be lesser than the next one. So in this case, let's focus on the descending order stuff. So the first entry should be higher. So here it is higher. So we don't do any swapping and then we'll move on to the next one. So now 25 and 84, order 25 and 84, 25 is less than 84. So which means that we need to swap it. So we need to swap such a way as that, like 84 goes in 25 and 25 goes in 84 place. And this is the resulting and we'll bring back here and then 25 and 47, 25 is less than 47. Then we do a swapping, then we'll bring it back here and 25 and 61. And then you can see uh, it is less than the uh, last entry and it gets swapped. And you can see the 25, the final, uh, the box in the uh, final first iteration or the first pass in the ascending order we'll be uh, doing the iteration so as to move the maximum at the right hand but in a descending order we'll try to do this uh, sorting and at the result of pass one we'll have the least entry so as i told you uh, in this class um, least will be at the right hand corner so this 25 is now locked it's no more in uh, you know uh, further iterations or allowed in further iterations we'll go to pass 2 in pass 2 you can see all this 25 is freezed even in swapping it's freeze we can't do any computation then we'll go back to the first one is 53 greater than 84 no then we need to a swapping then we'll move on to 53 and 47. Is 53 greater than 47? Yes. Then no swapping. Then we'll bring it back here. Is 47 greater than 61? No. Then we do a swapping. 61 goes here and 47 here. So beautifully, this algorithm is very uh, efficient that it moves, you see. Uh, the second least, the penultimate position has the second least of the list. And finally, our, on the uh, result of the past two, We'll be freezing 47 and 25. The uh, array 3 and 4 will only manipulating with uh, array 0 to 2. Right. So next we'll check 84 is 53. 84 is greater than 53 and no swapping. We'll bring it back here. 53 is not greater than 61. Then we'll do a swapping. Then it is the final results. Now 53 is also earmarked. So we can't do any computation here. And we'll move to fourth pass. In the fourth pass, we only have this. Is 84 greater than 61? yes uh, so we will uh, keep it here without any swapping right so remember in um, example one in the last iteration as uh, four is uh, is four is less than three for the ascending order no so we swap it but in this case you can even see uh, we have 
finally sorted the list but even then we wanted to compare it final uh, iteration check whether it is valid or not so even though it is uh, you know uh, fully sorted here but we will give it a try and we'll check and that's how it is and then in the fifth pass it's not there because it's already sorted in fourth pass in fact it is already sorted in third pass and so but it is always good to go with the uh, final pass to verify whether everything is perfect or when in places now we can even manually check 84 is the highest of all and 25 is the least among this list so highest takes the left entry and the lowest takes the right entry in a descending order if you take example one it's an ascending order so the least takes the left and the maximum takes the right so that's one implication or one check you can quickly do it before uh, you know uh, concluding that's a final sorting or something this happens only in terms of manual uh, calculation in computers it will always perfectly does but even then having a check a sanity check will always an advisable thing right so and you know this iterations total pass and iterations which we have already discussed in the uh, previous thing right so this is pertaining to the uh, descending order let's uh, have some assignment uh, this is not an assignment you can take it as a task so we have used the second exercise uh, for descending order i request you to try the ascending order of this sort and then uh, the list of uh, as ascending order uh, which we have discussed in example one you can try doing descending order for this and then um, in lab class we'll be doing uh, the sorting the bubble sort using c program so this is typically the one probably you can take a look at this uh, and we'll do uh, you know programming stuff uh, for bubble sort and we can incorporate this as an input wow. i hope you really enjoy this video see you then bye bye